yesterday morning they let me know you were gone hello there welcome to my channel my name is doug and i'm back with another fountain pen review you may have heard of the squabble that occurred between twisby and narwhal over the piston design that twisby claimed was stolen from them that was settled quickly when twisby capitulated last month on the heels of that resolution narwhal has now announced a name change and i can't help but think that they're related in some way narwhal has changed its name from narwhal to narwhal this might be a little confusing until you find out it's pronounced exactly the same as narwhal only the spelling is different n-a-v-a-l-u-r is icelandic for narwhal and iceland seems to be the home turf well not turf sea of the narwhal whale and in icelandic navalur is pronounced narwhal the spelling change with no pronunciation change kills two birds with one stone my brain hurts <laughs> first it affords narwhal better visibility online you see when you do a google search for narwhal it comes up with millions of hits about a whale and a few links to silly cartoons narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean causing a commotion because they are so awesome narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean pretty big and pretty wide and beat a polar bear in a fight but very few hits about the fountain pen next it allows narwhal to register the navalure spelling as a trademark where previously they could not register narwhal because it's an animal species and not able to be trademarked i think this relates to their tussle with twisby as it showed the need for legal protection the company has also changed its logo to a more stylized representation of the current logo which is recognizable as a narwhal whale so how do i know so much about all this narwhal stuff it's very simple i asked I was contacted more than a month ago by Celia from Narwhal and asked if I would like to review their new finish on their new school kill piston filler model, the Dragonette Sapphire. I said, absolutely, bring it on. You see, I'd purchased my first two Narwhals, a school kill Propita Navy and a bronze and black Nautilus using my own funds. So for Narwhal to even notice me and want to give me a pen for a review was quite a thrill. Plus, I didn't really take to the Porpita and the Nautilus. I actually sold the Nautilus, so an opportunity to see the new model and new finish was a real bonus. And I'm really digging this gorgeous finish and the rose gold hardware. Join me as we take a close look at this new Dragonette Sapphire Narwhal right now. <laughs> now, my first Narwhal. Uh, is this uh, narwhal school kill porpita i bought this uh, full retail at reed stationers here in calgary it's a nice little piston filler you can see my review of that right up here it was nice enough that it made me be interested in narwhal as a company and i bought a second narwhal and that was the nautilus and the, the ebony nautilus very interesting pen again i didn't really warm up to that pen i ended up selling that pen so i don't own it anymore but just about a month ago i got an email from someone at narwhal pens asking me if i'd be interested in reviewing a new narwhal pen well i just got a dhl delivery this morning and here is the new narwhal this is a new color of the school kill comes in this it's a slimmer box from narwhal now slides out and this is a medium narwhal school kill dragonette sapphire medium so this dragonette sapphire is a new finish and there is narwhal information user's manual on the inside how to use the piston all very good and there's the pen and it comes with a narwhal wrench I remember my the wrench that I got with this one didn't actually fit so I'll be interested to see if this wrench fits this pen and here it is well I'm much more impressed with this than I was the original one of the things that I thought was a little bit suspect was this just felt very very light there is some chatoyancy to it and some sparkle uh, shimmer to that color but I just felt it felt a little thin to me in the hand 
this has a little bit more heft to it uh, which I like a little bit of heft in the fountain pen otherwise they're both the same except for this new uh, Dragonette Sapphire has a rose gold kind of a finish on the hardware the uh, clips seem like the same the top seems to be the same but they've added this really nice nautical motif cap band which is a motif we saw in the Nautilus as well which I quite appreciated there's uh, waves and I think it says narwhal in there somewhere I can't really see through my camera nice ink window this one is a medium let's get this wrench out and see whether it works on this pen yeah that one works that's nice so you close the wrench down clockwise to loosen and there's the infamous piston that caused so much difficulty with Twisby and posts about the same as the other model does and also today just as we found out how to spell narwhal narwhal is changing their name from narwhal to novelure it sounds much more exotic but apparently it's Icelandic for narwhal I'll be interested to clean this out ink it up and give it a try the narwhal school kill dragonette sapphire and I can underwater unicorn they've got a kick cast facial harm they're the Jedi on the sea stop Kafula waiting me and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. I want to talk first about the differences between these two pens, the Porpita Navy from last year and the Dragonette Sapphire from this year. There are some subtle differences and then there are some really subtle differences. The acrylic on the new one has more depth to it. There is the cap band, of course, it's very nice. And this ring between the piston knob and the barrel is rounded and actually a little bit proud of the surface, whereas the 2021, it was flat. But when I opened the box and felt this pen for the first time, you saw it in the unboxing, I felt this version of the pen was somehow more substantial than this one. I couldn't account for it other than just a feeling. But I thought I should have a more empirical reason for this difference and not just rely on my subjective feeling. I knew that this was not just the added weight of a cap band and a different piston ring. So I studied these two pens more carefully. I weighed them and measured every bit to compare them. And of course, I was right. My name is Coyote, Wild E. Coyote, genius. They haven't just taken the 2021 model and slapped a cap band on it and a different ring and changed the color of the acrylic. They've subtly redesigned the school kill. This puts Narwhal in a whole different class of pen maker in my estimation. This is not just a pen company going through the motions and churning out the same model year after year. Hear that, Twisby? Nudge, nudge. Snap, snap, grin, grin, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. They're actively listening to users and making subtle changes to refine their designs to improve them for their customers. This puts Narwhal in a league with pen makers like Salvatore Matrone of Leonardo is not just resting on his laurels. He's constantly refining, adapting, redesigning, and improving his products. And that's what Narwhal has done with this pen. I'm very impressed. Look and see for yourself. The School Kill 2022 is almost five grams heavier than the 2021 model, and you can actually feel that difference. It isn't just the weight of the cap band and this new ring either. The pen is also longer by about 1.6 millimeters. They've changed the computer modeling of the pen, making it slightly thicker and slightly longer. The thickness is on the inside, as the outside diameters are the same. So they beefed up this pen and it wasn't just my spidey senses acting up you can actually feel that small change in dimension and weight i felt it the moment i held this pen kudos to narwhal for continually improving their products now let's look at the parts and features of this pen from the top we see the domed rose gold colored metal finial insert 
that sits on top of the rounded cap. The nicely shaped broad rose gold colored clip extends out from the cap and is nicely springy and usable. The cap tapers up to a rose gold band with a lovely sea wave and spray pattern and narwhal printed on the front and the back. Celia from Narwhal told me that the name and logo changes will be worked through in production. It'll probably take some time to get through existing inventories and factory parts before you start seeing the new spelling and logo in the stores. We saw this band on the Nautilus as well and I really like it. The edges of the cap are nicely rounded and there's a small step down to the barrel which has a visible ink window in the piston. Leonardo's Magico model had an ink window visible when the pen was capped, but they've changed that so the cap covers it now. I'm of two minds about it. It looks odd when the pen is empty, but I don't mind it so much when it's full of ink like this. It's certainly convenient having it visible like this. The barrel is straight until around the midway where it begins to taper towards a rose gold colored metal ring that separates the barrel from the piston knob which continues until the domed shape finial. The cap unscrews with one, two, and about a quarter turns to reveal a tapering section of the same material as the cap and barrel that has a small flare towards the number six size narwhal steel medium nib in rose gold colored plating and a black plastic feed. The section is a good size and doesn't taper too much or get too narrow for my hand. I find it very, very comfortable indeed. Let's take a closer look at this nib. The only difference between the 2022 nib and the one from 2021 is the nib's grading is stamped into the side of the 2022 model. Here it marked with an M for medium, where there's no marking on the 2021. These nibs are made in-house by Narwhal. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews easily for maintenance and swapping. The inside of the cab shows a step milled into the acrylic that meets up with the end of the section to seal the nib from evaporation. The cap posts but not very deeply and right on top of that piston knob which makes it dangerous as it's easy to accidentally move that cap and then move the piston and eject ink from the pen. And besides posting the pen makes it too long and back weighted to be practical in any case. Unposted, the pen is wonderfully balanced and comfortable in the hand. These cap threads here are smooth to the touch and unobtrusive. I think many users will find this pen a pleasure to hold unposted. The Narwhal Schoolkill Dragonette Sapphire is a limited edition finish, but the model is also available currently in four other finishes. Rockfish Red, Marlin Blue, Chromis Teal, and Ask for Bronze. Narwhal continues to use nautical and sea life references for their models and finishes. The Dragonette is a small marine fish related to the seahorse. The Narwhal Schoolkill retails for around $60 US. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Narwhal Schoolkill with a Twisby Echo piston filler a Hongdian N7 piston filler, a Tianzi piston filler, and a Majon T5 piston filler. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. Two of these pens have difficulty posting. The Schoolkill and the Tianzi post right on that piston and rotate the piston when you rotate the cap. The Twisby sits up on a silicone O-ring and doesn't disturb the piston. But don't take that idea from them. That's not a good idea. The best poster of the group is the Hongdian N7, which posts nice and deep and balances the pen out very nicely. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Only the Twisby is a number five size nib. The others are all number six size. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Narwhal, I should spell it correctly, Narwhal 
That's what that spells. Dragonette. Sapphire. Of course, the model name is School Kill. Let's pronounce this and spell it correctly as well. Y L K I L L. It's pronounced School Kill, unfortunately. And it is a number six size medium steel nib. And let's check the wetness. You can see it's decently wet. And the nib is very, very smooth, but it's exhibiting some behavior, which is called baby's bottom. On the downstrokes, I'm getting some skips. And I've been writing with this for a couple of weeks now, so and it's happening constantly. So I've done a repair of, see there's a skip right there, of uh, baby's bottom. I've actually done a video on how to repair a nib with baby's bottom. And you can also see it by clicking right up here. And baby's bottom is a very common thing uh, with nibs and it's actually a fairly easy fix. I will continue this writing sample with the nib unadjusted for you to see how it behaves. And the ink today is Ferris Wheel Press. Jelly Bean Blue. And here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. And as to line variation, well, you can push a little bit out of it, but this is a very stiff nib, as to be expected. And the line this nib makes is 0 0.5 millimeters, which makes it a Western fine or a Japanese fine to medium. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. It's much drier, but it's actually very smooth. And it works very nice. And some quick writing. Yeah, the the feed keeps up very, very nicely. It's not a problem with the feed. It's a problem this skipping with baby's bottom. And I'm back with the Narwhal Dragonette Sapphire. I've done my due diligence with this nib and it's writing much better. As you can see, I'm not having skipping issues anymore with this pen. No worries whatsoever. This is a very, very, very smooth now. What do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? I think the thing I like about this pen the most is how Narwhal has made some subtle performance updates to this model. I wasn't totally thrilled with my first school kill, finding the acrylic a bit flat looking and feeling a bit flimsy compared to other turned acrylics I've enjoyed. I also didn't like the way the piston wrench didn't fit the original school kill. It fits now. Narwhal must have been listening to me because not only have they solved the piston wrench situation, they've also beefed up the pen slightly in size and I'm sure the acrylic is thicker making it a much more substantial pen by about five grams. And this acrylic is stunning. 
It isn't flat and boring at all. It's just gorgeous. I love how they've added the cap band from the Nautilus and the rounded ring between the barrel and the piston knob. For 60 bucks, this is now one of the best piston fillers for the money on the market. And it comes in several other cool colors. I love the use of the rose gold hardware on this pen. There are still a couple of issues with the school kill, however. So if you're listening, Narwhal, grab a pen and take this down. You need to do something about the posting of this pen. Not only does it not post at all well, but it also posts dangerously as you can accidentally turn that piston with the cap and have an inky mess literally on your hands. Now pay attention and I'll show you what I want here. You see this Hongdian N7 piston filler? You see how it posts? Just do that with the school kill and it will be perfect. The next thing you need to pay attention to is the nib. It really shouldn't come out of the factory with a nib that has baby's bottom. But you can be forgiven for that because baby's bottom seems to be typical with many top tier fountain pen companies in the world it seems. Visconti comes to mind here. But this is a wonderful fountain pen here folks. What other piston filler fountain pens are at this price point? I can think of a few like this Tianzi, a gorgeous acrylic pen. And then there's the Twisby 580, of course. All I have is this Echo, as I sold my 580. Then there is the Pen BBS 309 piston filler. It posts really nicely, but it has some piston issues. And the aforementioned Hongdian N7 and its brother cigar-shaped N6. Very nice piston fillers for the price. And even though I really like my Hongdian N6 in this stealth black, mainly for the architect style black nib. This thing is so stealthy it was just sitting on my desk and I couldn't see it. I still think the Narwhal is the best of the group. And other than Twisby, are there any non-Chinese piston fillers that can rival the Narwhal at this price point? Let me know if you have a suggestion. I think Narwhal has a winner here. And there you have it. Thanks go out to Celia and all the folks at Narwhal for providing this beautiful fountain pen for review. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel too for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. this.